Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. This is my test plane, the demonstration plane. All the control surfaces are different colors, so when you and I are doing things, we can say, hey, you know, look at the yellow elevator. Anyways, this little blue flag is connected to a servo and it represents the throttle. Full speed and no speed. But I get many, many, many questions. How am I making that happen? If you want to win a jet like this, all you have to do is subscribe, click the like button, and leave a comment. And then uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At a thousand subscribers, we gave this jet away. At five thousand, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So hey, subscribe guys. Happy flying. How is a servo in the number one servo port on the receiver? Well, once upon a time before the brushless motor and the electric uh, airplanes, you had a glow engine or a gas engine and the servo moved the arm on the carburetor to give it throttle and the servo was plugged into channel number one on the receiver just like the servo is plugged into channel number one on this receiver an AR630 this is a glow engine that uh, I'm gonna have on a plane soon that Steve sent me and the arm on the side of the this is the carburetor this is the arm for the throttle and let me show you how the servo operates that Just like that, full throttle, and and then that's idle, full and idle, full idle. So that was how the servo operates glow engine and gas engines today. That's uh, they're plugged into the to receiver port number one where your uh, throttle is. Not everybody flies electric. They a lot of people fly the gas and the glow, and they buy the same receivers that we do and they set up the AS3X and they set up safe select just in channel number one they put a servo in there that's operating their engine and then as electric started becoming uh, a little better you know it's been tough to have electric planes because the batteries lipo batteries have made it really possible to have a battery that would power our airplane pro uh, motor and fly for as long as we can fly before lipos would have to be like the size of a car battery and you can't fly a plane that's weighing 80 pounds like that you know so as the technology was getting a little bit better <clears throat> before the uh, before electric speed controls not necessarily in planes still because of the weight but in cars they had the manual speed control and the servo moved an arm on a on a uh, manual speed control to determine the speeds. Here, let me show you. Before electric speed controls, the servo would move an arm on something about this big, and these were all electrical pads. So, and then this arm was an electrical pad. And when the two made a connection, then that would decide what speed it was. This was the manual electric speed control. So we'll say right here is neutral not going anywhere okay and re low reverse and then fast reverse okay so as the contact which is the arm is making contact on this board you know these black parts are electrical connectors you know so in reverse if you slowly reverse a little bit faster reverse all the way to full speed reverse and then back to neutral you know and then slow forward a little faster forward so the servo would move the arm on the manual electric speed control. And then how technology got better came out the electric speed control. I think they first came out in cars and then they gradually started getting better for planes and you know lighter and 
just the technology started working, you know, how to keep them cool with the air and just everything. And this is what most everybody is used to seeing plugged into your number one port of your receiver is your electronic speed control. The servo lead that's plugged into the number one port is seeing the signal just like a servo is seeing the signal. When you give it throttle, oh, the same signal comes into this wire, into the electronic speed control, and then out into the motor. The same exact signal that comes out of the receiver going into that servo can go into this electronic speed control and power the motor. So that's how it is. It's just it's just a servo plugged into port number one. You know, and just ways to have fun, a ways to tinker, and if you uh, gradually get into glow or gas engines, and you want to have you know AS3X for your uh, wind, you know stability, and you want to have safe select, instead of plugging in your brushless speed control, you plug in a servo to give throttle on your glow engine or your gas engine. So that's how it is. So I hope that helped uh, everybody out, gave everybody a little entertainment. And uh, we're going to do a lot with this plane coming soon. And we have in the past, so check out some of my past videos if you haven't seen them already. <clears throat> but we can, just for a quick example, you know, we got the yellow elevator, so we can be talking, we can be doing a mix or something, or you know, just anything. I you know, say, so, hey, you know, look at the elevator yellow. And then I catch your eye, and, you know, in the, in the blue rudder. And uh, then our ailerons and the throttle. And then I got full safe select on this. You look at the ailerons, they're deflecting fully to roll it over. You know. You're flying level, the ailerons are level. Oh, safe select is trying to right side you up. Right you up. So, all right, guys. Hey, lots more to come. So, I hope that uh, hope that helped everybody out a little bit. So, all right, guys. Hey, subscribe if you haven't. That's the best way to support what I do here. And until next time, right there. All right, you'll see me here. Adios.